Heyo, my name is Chupacabra, and today we're going to be previewing the first track the NASCAR series, the Chupacabra 500. I originally was going to do one video, but I realized I had way too much stuff to say and talk about. So, I'm going to split this first track up into three videos. The first video will be this NASCAR Chupacabra 500 track preview, and I'm going to have this introduction along with the track facts, and then I'm just going to let the video play, and you guys can just see how the track is and how it works with no commentary. The next video, hopefully coming early next week, will be a play-by-play -play breakdown. I'm going to play the video, and I'm going to talk about the track and the car and kind of what you should do and things that will help you navigate this 38.8 mile racetrack. The third and final video for the Chupacabra 500 is going to be a deep dive video. I'm going to be talking about the track, I'm going to be talking about the cars, but more importantly, I'm going to be talking about the thought process behind all this. Why things are the way they are, how I built it, what I wanted to do, what my grand vision was, my favorite sections of the track. Originally, this was going to be all one video, but what I realized was happening was I was talking about the beginning of the track, and by the time I got done talking about the first 5%, the race was already 45% over, and it didn't quite make sense, so I decided to split it up into these three categories. So please hit that like and subscribe button, as I will be dropping more content early next week. Let's get into the track facts of the Chupacabra 500. If you'd like more information about the statistics that go into these track facts, please go ahead and look up my previous video, NAFCAR, an introduction to tracks, and we will break down all these little categories. The name of this race is the Chupacabra 500, and both the NAFCAR sanctioned and unsanctioned share codes are shown on screen. If you're wondering which one to do, it's a very simple question. Are you playing with simulation damage on? If you are, use the NAFCAR sanctioned share code. If you're playing with simulation damage off, go ahead and use the NAFCAR unsanctioned share code as shown on screen. Each share code is the exact same track, we just alter the weather conditions to manage tire wear a lot better. The NAFCAR sanctioned event, you are only allowed to use S1 anything goes, so you may choose any car within the S1 class, whereas the NAFCAR unsanctioned event is considered open, you can use any car and you can use any class. This track is considered a trail track, which means that its finish line is in a different location than the starting line. The Chupacabra 500 consists of all three Forza Horizon 5 motifs. It's 76% road, 24% dirt and cross country. So when you build your car, your car needs to be able to manage both the road paved road section and the dirt road section. The starting location is the Baja de Plano, and I'm pretty sure I butchered that. The length of the track is 38.8 miles, and the total racing distance is also 38.8 miles, and this is because it's a trail event. If you're playing with simulation damage on, tire wear is graded on a scale of 1 to 6, and for this track, it is a 5, which means by the time that you are done racing the track, your tires should be about 83.3% gone to 99% gone, somewhere within that range. Damage wear is rated on a 1 to 5 scale, and for the Chupacabra 500, it comes in at a 2, which means you can expect some slight damage throughout the event. We also rate the bots, and this is how well the bots handle the track. This track scores a 3 out of 5. The bots handle this track mostly well. There's about 3 checkpoints where it's hit or miss, and that's just based on the bot and the type of car it's got. I highly recommend that you race with the drive line on. This is going to show you the direction in which you should be going along the track. As you may notice, the drive line is not perfect, and I do this on purpose because the bots don't like it sometimes if you cut corners. So what I try and do is I try to race in the middle of the road, which gives bots ample side on both sides to pass each other. And finally, the difficulty rating. Difficulty is rated on a 1 to 5 scale. This track is rated a 5 out of 5. It's pretty difficult and should be challenging to even the most experienced Forza Horizon 5 drivers. This track should take you about 18 minutes to complete if you're doing the NAFCAR unsanctioned event. Alright everybody, well those are the track facts. We're going to get this video started here. This is going to be just a video in the Forza in-game sound. Um, I'm going to be quiet, I'm not going to be talking at all. 
And like I said, hit that like and subscribe button because the next video I release early next week is going to be a play-by-play -play breakdown of this track. And then hopefully later on in the next week, I will be able to do the deep dive. And thank you guys so much. Have a great night, evening, morning, or day.